you would think that this big boat, you know, running alongside these fish would spook them, but uh, it, it doesn't. We're almost trolling behind the bow of the boat, and we've had two hookups already, so, you know, it's clear that it works. I'd always wondered about that. How can you catch a fish in a river trolling a drift rig? Well, the secret is in the boat control. There it is, there fish on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is, just like that. So what happens is they grab it and they almost hook themselves. That fish hit Rob first. Doesn't feel like a real monster, but he's coming in pretty quick. And I'm about to get a good look at it. I'll tell you what, anything that's chrome in this river, we like. Size doesn't matter, right, Matt? That's right. Hopefully we can get a Nate for the broodstock program here. I'd like to contribute one. I'd love for you to do that. That's a happy sound, guys. Hear that? Where do you want me, Brandon? Well, I'm going to have you come on back here. With me, man. Be, yeah. All the way to the back? All the way to the back, back here. was my little dance floor right back here. Well, we also get out here, Matt, right now these summer steel are starting to come in. So oh, that would be a real so now we, we get rootstocks, we get natives, and summer steel so it's kind of neat. So you never know what you're going to get. Now, if it's a summer fish, I'm going to eat it. Oh, buddy. If I get one, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> you ain't going to eat it. Those are the best eating. These, these rods are an absolute pleasure to fight these fish on. They almost feel like a fly rod. They're just so limber, and they, they just feel nice. A real lightweight, good balance. And Brandon's got the right size reel on here, so I can feel the balance is perfect. And I bet that really makes a difference when you're doing this type of fishing. You know, it really makes a difference when you're fishing all day. You know, if you're just making a double cast, you know. Big Nate. Nice. Nice native hand. That's a little Brandon. Hold on, hold on. I knew she was going to do that. I knew it. I could just feel it coming. She did. You know what? She saw Brandon Glass and she, she knew it was trouble. Uh, I tell you, these natives won't give up. These natives are the reason why this broodstock program is in here because we don't want to lose these fish. They're just a solid, beautiful fish and they fight hard and they don't give up. You know, for those of us that are, uh, they don't know what talking about the broodstock program, what it is, we're taking native fish, taking them up to the hatchery and they're going to spawn the native fish. We're not taking hatcheries and spawning on top of hatcheries. We're actually going to be spawning natives with the hatcheries. So it actually makes a stronger gene pool so we get a better quality hatchery fish. So we get more returning with less uh, smolts going out. So we don't have to migrate as many smolts. They're so solid. There's a thick shoulder. There you go, right there, man. Hey. Woo! That's right. what we call Sandy River yeah. Crown. That's a beautiful native fish, and we can now contribute that to the broodstock program. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Boom, right? That's what we like. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do now? What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this net up, we're gonna pick this rod up, we're gonna go up here to the um, the box. We got running water in it. Put him in there and he'll be doing just fine. Here we go. Just beautiful fish, you know, I'm really glad they're doing whatever they can to preserve this fish. This is, you know, this is a special strain of fish in my opinion. I've caught these fish for almost 20 years and some of the best battles I've ever had with winter steelhead have come from these fish. 